genome. I'm sure I've heard of it, but what is it? Let's start from the beginning. Genome is the entire collection of DNA in each of your cells. Then, what is this DNA? Technically, it's deoxyribonucleic acid. But to understand this concept, let's just say that it's a code made of four different letters. Each cell in your body has 3.5 billion letters. Well, actually, double that number. Because each letter has its own preferred partner, and they wind up into a double helix, which makes DNA more stable in the cell. So how much is 3.5 billion? If you line up every single letter, you will end up with 2 meters of DNA for each cell. And if an average person has 10 trillion cells in his body, then simple math will show us that the total length of DNA in a human body is 5,203 times the distance to the moon. Are you wondering how this much of DNA is packaged into a cell? Well, it coils and coils and super coils, mega super coils, and so more until it fits into a cell. Actually, these most condensed forms of DNA are called chromosomes, and the 3.5 billion letters make 23 of them. But these 23 chromosomes only make up half of you that comes from your mom, and you get the other half from your dad, and boom, you have 46 chromosomes. Why do you need so much DNA? That's what makes what you are. For example, this makes you a girl, but if you have this instead, then you are a boy. More than that, it is what determines the color of your skin, the length of your nose, and it might even guide you to the love of your life. Seeing that DNA is so fundamental to us, a couple of years ago, scientists took upon the enormous task of figuring out every letter in the code. This task was called the Human Genome Project. It was one of the biggest scientific collaborations thus far. And thanks to their hard work, we now have the complete sequence of the human genetic code. However, almost a decade has passed, and we are still only confident about the function of 10% of genome. The rest 90% is still under question. Why do we need to answer this question? Because actually, DNA is not unique to human. It's universal to all living things. It's in you, it's in your dog, your cat, it's in your cat's snack, it's in every, every, every single living thing. It's the blueprint of life. But at the same time, just like alphabets make different stories, the four letters of DNA make different blueprints for each of us. This makes every one of us unique. By understanding this blueprint, when something goes wrong, we will know what to fix. So next time when you see the word genome or DNA, we hope you appreciate the simple brilliance of nature and that we are living in a time of great discoveries. We are just about to understand this blueprint of life.